Now please follow me. Now this is the lobby, and we see the board for today's topic. This photo is charming. In 2014, the Queen, Margaret II of Denmark, met with the First Lady of China, Madame Peng Liyuan, for the event of Hans Christian Andersen's fairy tales in China. Margaret II and Madame Peng joined the children to read the Andersen's fairy tales, The Ugly Duck, to the children. It is fair to say that Andersen's tales have entered the Chinese border for over 100 years. A lot of children have once read the stories. Not long after I joined the workforce, I had a program, and that program gave me the opportunity to visit Denmark. So now let's review that uh, story of visit from 30 years ago. About 170 years ago, which was 1805, in Odense of Denmark, there was this small cottage. And there was a little boy born in this cottage. His name is Anderson. Anderson's family is poor. His father was a shoemaker. Since there was very few business, his father died from disease, and his mother washed clothes, and his grandma was a beggar on the street. His only toy is such an idol from the drama. But those toys offered happiness and joy to Anderson during his childhood. His family was very poor. They shared one small house, and his father was a shoemaker. This is Anderson's museum. Please pay attention. There was a logo at the door, and we will see this logo again. On the second day here, I met the curator of Anderson's museum. He's an expert in studying Anderson. Could you please introduce to us about Anderson? Together with the Danish children, we visit the theater to enjoy a drama revised from Anderson's tales. In Denmark, the plays revised from Anderson's fairy tales have been very popular for generations. They're quite focused on the play. This is a 
上手工课，就是我们平常说的泥塑。The children are making the handicrafts, making sculptures from mud. In Denmark, almost everywhere you can see such a logo, and you will know that. He is Andersen, the world famous writer of fairy tales. Andersen was born in 1805, and this year marks his 215th anniversary since his birth. This is Copenhagen. And this is the Royal Theater. Anderson left his home and came to the Royal Theater of Copenhagen to be a performer. In the lobby of the theater, I see a lot of pigeons. And those pigeons are different from those in the zoo. They played as an important role in those plays. The theater was built in 1722. 1300 visitors could be accommodated here. And now there was a play revised from Andersen's fairy tale. It's a ballet. Anderson likes those performers dancing ballet, and he has mentioned about those dancers in his stories a lot of times. Anderson has lived in this White House for 19 years, left us with a lot of、uh, famous stories, and he would recline against the window here to enjoy the view. But now this turns out to be a bustling street. And there are a lot of miniature. Of the street fields, they are full of the sense of fairy tales. And here we see a lot of、uh, wax and images. I think he is dancing ballet.
丹麦国家电视台，观看了他们的节目制作。Then we visit the Denmark TV, national TV, and uh, witness the program making process. Because of this visit to Denmark. We have boosted our understanding of those uh, photographing experience in Denmark. Those are real. Some of the performers would play the sections in Anderson's fairy tales in those. Houses. Those items seem very genuine. This is a very interesting window and curtain. This is the car of uh, the program director. And uh, it is uh, drawn like this. This visit is impressive to me. So, dear viewers, hello. You are now watching the program of Anderson's Fairy Tales in China by CCTV, and I am a good friend of uh, the children Wei Qun, and through the CCTV News, CCTV Children's Channel, and uh, Wei Qun Mama WeChat account to bring you this live show. And tonight we have several lottery. Events and we prepare a lot of gifts like this one. This is a T-shirt to memorize the 215th anniversary of Anderson's birth. I have uh, put down my signature on this T-shirt, and this is a 3D book for the children. And this is my book with my signature. And during the program, I will leave some questions to our viewers, and we will take a snapshot of your answers to choose the winner of those bonuses. And now I would love to show you my treasure. Just now we've shown you the video taken in 1990s. The photographer. Of that video is now sitting as the director of this program. So how about we all say hello to our viewers? Hello, Director Chen. We bear with us such um, children's heart for three decades to accompany the growth of the children. Speaking of the stories of Anderson's tales in China, there are two masters who must be very grateful. Those are the translators. One is called Ye Junjian. In 1984, Mr. Ye Junjian published his book by Hunan Publishing House, and in the first page, he wrote to Ju Ping by Junjian on August the 11th, 1991. I got this book because of one story, and please allow me to tell you. In Odyssey Museum of Denmark, when I was visiting, there were several a、uh, telephone put there, and if you 
take one, you will hear the English version of Anderson's stories, and another telephone will tell you in. German and then in French. In total, there are six of such telephones, but there was no one telling the Andersons fairy tales in Chinese. So when I got back to China, we got in contact with the Gansu Children's Publishing House and Mr. Ye, with whose help the whole versions of Denmark translated version in Chinese. Have been delivered to us in order to put them in the audio, and this is another gift from Mr. Ye. In November 1991, this is another book. The book was published also in 1991, and I kept them till today, because when we were recording those stories, I read those books one by one very carefully. And this is another version published by Liaoning Children's Publishing House by about 1992. Another master I want to pay tribute to is Mr. Lin Hua. He translated the English version into Chinese. That's why today our children can listen to the audio version of the Anderson's Fairy Tales because of the two masters. We could experience the beauty of the fairy tales. Now let's enjoy an excerpts of Anderson's fairy tales. It was recorded in 1990s, and now it still works. But now those fairy tales books are prettier in the hard copy. You could see the pictures, and the words are here to offer us the contents. Which are very warming and touching. In 1981, CCTV have prepared such a play from the tales, and、uh, Fang Juifen was the director. And now, let's enjoy that story about the girl selling matches. The story took place in northern part of Europe. In the eve, it was very cold at night. Heavy snow was falling down for an entire day. The houses, trees, are wearing the blankets of snow. Those wealthy people have prepared 
dinner and they sit together around the beautiful Christmas tree. This is how they spent the last eve of this year. However, in this cold darkness, a girl barefoot was still walking on the street. Matches Matches for sale Gentlemen, a box of matches Please get a box of matches. For the entire day, not one match was sold, and no one has given her one penny. This poor little girl was cold and hungry while walking. In that lighted house, it must be very warm and she can smell the fragrance of the baked goods. The little match girl has not eaten anything for one entire day. Going back home? No. How can I get home like this? My father will be upset. Her father has been sick in bed for one month. Her family couldn't even afford one bread. And the house was cold. The hole in the roof was covered by the ragged clothes and straws, but the cold wind still rushed in to the house. This poor little girl, where shall she go?
如果画一根火柴，暖一暖手的话，那该多好。How about I light a match to warm my hands? That would be good. One star was falling, and it means someone was deceased on the planet. My grandma told me about that logic. Grandma loves me. If Grandma were still alive, that would be perfect.
my grandma. Please take me with you. I know when the light is off, you will be gone. Just like the baked goods, the beautiful Christmas tree, and the furnace, they will all be gone just like you. So please now take me away. Grandma, please take me with you. I'm cold, my grandma, and I'm hungry. I would love to fly to a place without cold or hunger. Grandma, is it okay? In a cold morning, people find a poor little girl was sitting in the corner. Her eyes, her feet were frozen to red, but smile was on her face. And in the eve of the Christmas day, she left the world. Who would know that she has once seen beautiful things? She used to be very happy with her grandma and then flew to a new year happily. Dear friends, this is my bond with the fairy tales. I have taken them with me as treasures for my whole lifetime. Looking back in 1990, I've taken some photos. I was thin and young, and I didn't even know where to put my hand when I was anchoring. I sent those gifts to those ambassadors to Denmark Embassy, and Mr. Ye was with us. And since then, in the Odyssey Museum, you could listen to the Chinese version of Anderson's fairy tales with my voice recorded. In this year, because of the coronavirus, we haven't been able to visit Denmark for the Anderson's fairy tale in Chinese and the concert festival for children as has been scheduled. But still, we can share with us about the journey of Anderson's fairy tales in China on the internet.
And the theme of today's event is play. What does the word play mean in Chinese? We will invite the chief designer for this event, Mr. Zhao Gang, to give us the introduction. Sister Juping, please allow me to thank you. Your voice was so appealing, taking us into the world of Anderson. Thank you. And uh, please introduce to us about the intentions of this topic, play in this festival. Play is related to everyone in the family, and play is with us throughout our lifetime. Play is also a creation. Play is to be with the nature. And so there are four parts of this topic this year. One, nature. Nature is the most important topic in this coronavirus. We have to rediscover the relationship between human beings and nature. So in this photo, we are expressing our aspiration to join the nature. We want to enjoy the time in the nature. And the second topic is homeland. That is another core topic. We love our homeland. And we will introduce to you about the works of Danish children. For example, this picture is about family and homeland. It is a feeling for us to experience ourselves. We see the cute animal. What about this work? Is holding the whole family and the house with a heart in the house. This is a highlight. We express the topics of nature and home together in this picture. To tour around the world. In this work, mom is taking the child to take the airplane. Home is also the source of our dreams. With homes, we can then look into the future. Is future our topic? Yes, and we also have another topic called music. Future is about our aspiration to lives in the future. And as to the topic of future, we see this work from the Danish children. My understanding is he or she hopes to settle down in the moon. Exactly. That's the dream of the children about the future, nature, and life. That dream is not very far. Chang'e number five will fly again into the space in the end of this year, so it will be a success. Could you introduce to us about this photo? This is the hometown of uh, Anderson. Is the children's theater right next to the museum? It was newly built. It wasn't there when I visited the theater. Every year there will be performances. And actually, we have prepared some surprises to you. Wonderful. Now it must be 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon in Denmark. Yes. How about this one? Is it a desert or ocean? No, it mustn't be ocean. And the child is sleeping, holding the cat. But uh, what is on the child? It's a quilt. Actually, it's the blue sky as the quilt. And those stars are not printed on the quilt. It's Beidou stars. It represents the Beidou navigation system in China. So we share the world and one same dream. Throughout the whole world, the children share the same dreams. Wonderful interpretation. And thank you for your introduction. In the Denmark Cultural Center, some children are staying with us. They are waiting here. Hello, everyone. Are you happy? Yes. Were well, the programs interesting just now? Yes. Even though the play, The Little Match Girl, was a little bit rigid because of the lack of technology support. But we share the warmth and the emotions in the fairy tale. Have you felt them? Yes. So today, I want to thank our parents for joining this program. Speaking of the first Danish 
music festival, the artists from Denmark have started preparations since last year. But because of the coronavirus, they haven't staged the performance now. So now we will enjoy a fabulous performance called The World. This is our world, and we must protect it carefully. Today, the children with us are quite versatile, and there will be a performance played by two children, and they will play in English. Now let's welcome them, Cui Lechen and Li Keqing. And what's your show? We're going to perform an English program called Nice to Meet You. Could I invite the parents to come on the stage and be part of this play? I'm her father. And could you please introduce to us about the contents? The story goes like this. The girls, Elena, played as the wolf. And when she was chasing his wolf, her wolf families, she was lost. And she met a beast called Shrem. The beast was quite lonely. So the two met. They were both curious about each other. And now the story begins. to play my hat with me? Uh, well, I can't just have to. Great ticket! Ew, ew, ew! Oh, it happens when I'm a little nervous or I'm really happy. Is it poisonous? Oh, no, I would never poison you. It's so nice to finally be making another friend. I had one a long time ago, but ever since I've been so lonely. Well, good luck. I'm gonna catch up with the werewolves. Bye! Wait! What's your name? Do you want to meet up later? <sighs> oh, it's over. Hey, yo. So that's the ending. 
Do you think it's perfect? Yes, and they too have very good English. So you must study English, and then you are going to be international. Thank you. So just now we enjoyed the play by the two girls. Previously, we see、uh, the play like this, like only singing about how the cats and dogs are happy together. But now we have a lot of contents and varieties, like rapping or street dance, became new performing forms of Andersen's fairy tales. And the children's concert festival is becoming a new popular culture. The parents and children seem to have stronger bond together, and there will be more contents to communicate between parents and the children. So now let's enjoy another play about home. Lille hus, højt hus. Jep, er en hemmelig hule i en solbærbus. En hemmelig hule med en hemmelig indgang. En mand der købte en grund med mange træ, og der byggede han et hus. Og hver gang familien voksede, byggede han en etage på og en til og en til. Jep, at duften af min hovedpude. Jep, er at vide hvor trappen knirker. Jep, er min far, min mor. Min søster, min bror og min kat. Jep, er at bo på toppen af et bjerg. Jep, er der, hvor jeg hører til. Jep, er mere end et hus. Her er jeg fra. Bilen og busen og høje hus. Min kat fra træ. Min kat. This is family. So tonight, when you go back home, please hug your parents, help them a good night, and have a happy weekend. The Danish Culture Center has invited the Chinese and Danish children to create a lot of drawings based on the topic of play. So, before we appreciate the works, please allow me to invite you to appreciate the concert festival in Denmark since 1980, 81, 82, and you go like this. So now, forty years has gone by. Those are the posters for the forty years of activities. Music has become an integral part of our daily lives. Every one poster is a high combination of arts and life. It is creative and artistic. And also, we appreciate the works of adults. And now, let's listen to the creation. Of children, so today we have invited two children. Their works have been put in the beautiful cabinet. The author of this one is called Li Yuexing. Please come by my side. What's the name of your work? It's called Music Festival in the City. 
Could you tell us more? There are houses and the performers. And those houses will change forms according to the mood. What about when you're in good mood? Then the houses will be the smiley face. But what about when you are upset? They will be crying. So it's like an uh, emoji. What others? What is this one flying up? This is an elf trying to join this concert. I also see the piano, the keyboard. And what others? Those are also about the concert in the city, expressed in the different moods. So anyway, we hope that you could all be happy and such music, happiness will be with you throughout your childhood. I see another work. It's in green. And the author is Wu Zitong. Now she comes. Could you show your face to the camera? How old are you? Hello, everyone. My name is Wu Zetong. I'm seven years old. Are you in school? Which grade? Grade two. You're growing teeth. Please introduce about your work. I see some cute animals. You can hold this mic just like a presenter. It's a forest. There are different colors of the animals. This is a person. She's picking mushrooms like this. And now she's putting the mushroom in the basket at her back. It must be tired. That's a very good invention. What about this? This is a monkey. And those two giraffes are eating the leaves. The bird is flying. And I draw them in green because my teacher told me that uh, there is a lack of green color in this picture, so I put the green color in. And of course, there should be some green, like uh, the lotus on the ground, like the right corner. We hope that green will be everywhere, just like nature, and we want to grow healthy in the nature. Thank you, Yutong. And play is the theme of uh, the Denmark Cultural Center, and we love nature. So the Children's Music Center is trying to echo in the topic about uh, integrating music into the children, both physically and uh, intellectually. Now let's see how to find happiness in music.
网友朋友们，大朋友小朋友，您正在收看的是央视频、央视新闻、央视少儿卡通。Dear viewers, now you are watching the program called Anderson's Fairy Tales in China by CCTV. This is another session in the Culture Center, and it shows us the drawings of Chinese and Danish children. This is Mr. Darwin, the director of the Culture Center. Hello, nice to meet you. Could you please introduce to us about the works of、uh, the Danish children? This is a small city in Denmark. The works are from the kindergarten children. You may never have heard about this small town in Denmark. It's like、uh, the Xi'an in China, with a long history. The small town doesn't just have a long history; it is also the birthplace of Denmark as a country. The king of that town has a lot of children, and one of the children is Margaret the Second. They come from the same family. Those works have been drawn by the children before summer. Now the school is on, and they are now in grade one, so about six years old. Interestingly, there are a lot of differences between the Chinese children and the Danish children in the drawings. I think the simpli simplicity is the highlight of Danish works. Yes, it's very simple. The Danish children love to depict reality. For example, this is by Isabella, who is seven years old. She wants to depict that there should be about one meter distance between two persons. This photo is about the garbage classification. Now we are also trying to popularize the concept about the garbage sorting. I seem to understand this photo. You should appreciate it like this. It's about washing hands, right? In Denmark, parents usually teach the children to wash their hands because the little hands will touch their face. That's why it's paramount to guarantee the tidiness of their hands. The children in Denmark will have to wash their hands for twenty times. Wow, that's impressive. This is another photo about washing hands, right? It's from another angle, from up to down, but it's still washing hands. 
This must be her mother supervising her washing hands. So, like Chinese children, Danish children pay high attention to health and sanitation. That's the biggest wish to our children: grow up healthily and happily. Thank you for your introduction. So, let's avoid shaking hands, perhaps. Thank you. So now let's enjoy the Chinese children's works. The topic is still about home. This is about the city of sky, and this picture is about children's slide, and this picture is about the dinner's time. The whole family is getting ready for the dinner. On the sofa, this is a cat, and the time is about ten o'clock at night. I think it's about time to watch TV, or is it about、uh, time to go to bed? This reminds me about、uh, the Chinese program called Da Tou Er Zi. It's like his mother calling him to get to dinner, and this reminds me of the fairy tales. It's about a ballet dancer, and this is a very cute. Bird in the cage. The bird seems to be singing beautiful songs. And this is、uh, the、um, flower elf. And this is a cat and his food. Those are some mice. Which one shall I eat, the food or the mouse? The cat has to think about it. A lot of contents here. The children are giving full play to their imagination. Every kid is a genius. Here with me, I have invited a very good example. The topic of this is called "I am the genius." Every child must be confident. You are the genius. The future is yours. Of course, our parents must be able to discover the geniuses in their children and cultivate them. Anderson is not just a master in fairy tales; he is also a master in paper cutting. So, in this session, we will see a lot of works of paper cutting. This is the small elf from Anderson. The elf has a lot of things to be afraid of, so the elf takes a lamp. And look at you, all around, and the elf will know everything about you. That's why it's called an elf. This is another work from Anderson. It's very famous. It's about a clown, Piero. Piero is a classic figure in Italy, just like Anderson. He is naive, and he brings a lot of、uh, joy to people. Sometimes he may have、uh, the melancholy mood, just like Anderson. Sometimes in his life, Anderson felt lonely. This is also about the clown and the tree, the angel, and the ballet dancer at the top of the tree. So Anderson will tell the stories to the children while he does the paper cutting. When the story is finished, the paper cutting work is done, and this is his favorite, the ballet dancer. For this paper cutting work, it's about、uh, the nature forest and the swan. 
Swan is another typical figure in Anderson's tales, like butterflies and forest. Those are the most beautiful parts in the fairy tales. And this work is like a summary of Anderson's life. A clown is holding a lot of architecture. I have visited this house. This is the old house in Odyssey of Anderson. And then he visited the school teaching Latin language. And then he grew up. And this is the swan, just like his growth. It's also like his target. At the end, this is the most famous paper cutting work of Anderson. The name is the head of sun. The sun is giving out shining sunshine, but the sun is looking at us with his eyes. He is protecting us with his warmth and sunshine. The smiley face impressed us, just like the beautiful life. In 400 parts of Anderson's fairy tales, he mentioned the sun, so that's why his fairy tales are very warm. And now, for the railway tickets in Denmark, there will be the drawing of such a sun head. So, in another wall, there are three other works. They are from us. What's the difference of those pictures from Anderson's paper cutting? From a distance, you will see the element. Please try to avoid shooting at the name. And also, that's the question I want to leave our viewers. Get ready. If you want to choose a name for this picture, please focus on the key element. What about this one? There is a beautiful girl talking to someone. What about this one? A big fish, and in the belly of the fish, what is inside? Please pay attention, and we will give you some time to analyze the three paper cutting works to name them. And then later on, we are going to review the answers and uh, give you the bonus. The t shirt with my signature. And this is our fairy tale, the 3D fairy tale. Now let's go to the interaction session with the children. Do you like paper cutting? Do you like the head of the sun? So now, we will give you some time to do your own paper cutting. Please get started. We gave you several choices in different shapes. Choose your favorite. And after you finish, please pin them down on this hard cover, and then we will show your works to our viewers. The children may need to take some time for the paper cutting. So this is also the time for our viewers to give us the answers. Meanwhile, there is a Danish artist preparing a performance to us. The name of the performance is Wind.
我来到了一个小朋友的身边，他正在剪作品。你看，我们给他提供的两个，一个是安徒生的剪影，一个呢是刚才我说的那个小丑的剪影。你为什么选择了安徒生来剪呢？小丑的这个比较难剪哦，挑一个简单的哈，那你要加油了啊！嗯，好，你剪的这个是什么？你知道吗？还真不知道啊！那给大家看一看，嗯，有哪位朋友知道他剪的这幅作品叫什么名字？你知道？太好了，你说。伞对，两个人打着雨伞。李老师叫什么 ？You know the answer. It's two people taking the umbrella. What's the name of it? It's called the God of Dreams. So please continue with your works. I think they will have to take a longer time. Now, I will introduce another. Game to you. Since 1992, the Danish Culture Center and Danish government and schools in Denmark have been cooperating for 27 years to hold the International Children's Day in Denmark. In 2019, the music concert has become the biggest size in such similar children's music festivals. Over 10,000 children were part of this activity. So as long as you have a charitable heart and you have talents, you can all do good children's music. Now we will enjoy a work. The name of it is Being in a Bad Mood. Any kid who loves to be upset, some of you raise up your hand. So now we will appreciate this game and you will be enlightened. And our parents, please pay attention as well. It's a ladybug loving to be upset. He bumps his head against the wall and he howls like, who did this? The snail says, me, swan. In a hot sunny day, the groomy ladybug has a toothache. So he goes to the house of the snail and drinks such a sour and sweet juice. Swan is upset as well, and he is lonely in his own house. They both murmur. In the damp house of the snail, they drink the beer with ginger. They point their fingers at each other. The bug is upset, but they think they are perfect. Be a gloomy upset is really annoying, but the bugs believe they are perfect.
sur ægte par Sur mor og sur far And those two become a couple Both angry every day The angry mom and angry dad Life is unhappy It's horrible couple Now they are arguing with each other They both refuse to go out Because of their negative energy They think they are perfect together Offsetting the negative energy They believe they are perfect together Because they alone are negative And together they are positive How about it? I want to dance with them, but I'm not a good dancer. Any kid who is a good dancer? Yu Qianqian, how about you? Do a posture. How old are you? Eight. How long have you learned dancing? Since four or five years old. So it's already four years. Now the music, please get ready. Perfect. You're quite confident. That's why you're a success. You're not afraid of the stage. I'm the best dancer. And from my eyes, you're confident. From your eyes, what's your dream when you grow up? I want to be a teacher. That's a secret and a glorious post. What kind of teacher? In a primary school. So that's for primary education. I want to give my honor to you. Now let's check the paper cutting results. It's already seven to eight minutes. We've finished. Fabulous. Now please show your works to our camera. The second row, please stand up. And please don't blind your face with your work. This is the head of the sun in yellow. If you choose a different color, it will be more beautiful. Again, thank you. That's the profile of Anderson. It's well done. Please hold it higher. It's in blue and yellow, yellow background. It's a perfect combination. This girl holding a green card. What is this? It's a tree. Yours seem hot. It's like fire. 
Don't worry, we still have time to show. Every kid is learning. They made progress. That kid said her dream was a teacher. It must be because teachers in her schools have been her models that motivated her to be a teacher. Now, let's enjoy another performance about uh, the Danish artist to further stimulate our children. Some people plant a tree. Every day, in 37 years. Day by day, for 37 years, the tree grows gradually and grows into a whole forest. Chimpanzee, the ant eating beast. For bunden of havet vokser der skove af tang. There is a forest in the bottom of the ocean. Alting bliver større når man ser det gennem et forstørrelsesglas. If you use a magnifier to see them, everything will be magnified. Glasbevinger har mønstre. Muslingeskaller har riller. The ants. Når Esther cykler gennem byen, så ser hun tusind. Asteroid riding in the city, dandelion seeds spread to everywhere on the planet. The whole city is more vivid and alive. Når man er lille, så vokser man mest, når man sover. When we were children, we grew fast, particularly when we were asleep. The Secretary General of the First Danish Artist Festival Madam Wang is with us. We are going to talk about another topic, the future. Please introduce to us about this exhibition board. Every beautiful city is reliant on the laughs of children. So here we are showing the memories of the happy children and the scenarios where the children enjoy their time in the city. This is the sports center in Copenhagen. Some section of the roads are specially for the roller coasters of children. This is an office building, and at the bottom of the office building, we have a specially designed zone for the children with a lot of entertainment choices. As far as I know, many designers of the city have to fully consider the space for children to play. The best gift to the city as far as the designers are concerned, is allow them to play. And as to play, there are a lot of contents. For example, to bring a lot of joys to the city, a lot of contents to tradition, a new life to the old things, and new space to the communities. In such an environment, kids will grow up happier. 
I hear there are a lot of activities co-held by China and Denmark. Now we see some photos. That is Liang Ma He River in Beijing, right? In Liang Ma He, we will have another activity called uh, cycling in the air. What about others? This is in Chengdu, in the Mother River of Chengdu. We will establish a city park. The city will be more dynamic and ecological. Any other projects about the Chinese cities? For the purpose of the children, this is in the tier 3 city, it's in Yixing of Jiangsu province. The normal plaza was redesigned to be an amazement park for children, and it's welcomed by the civilians in the city. Wonderful. So we are willing to use our efforts to design and create a better space for children. Thank you, Madam Wang. Now let's interact with our viewers. I have left our viewers with three questions, asking them to name our three paper cuts. Now please deliver me the iPad. Now the lottery. The time begins for the lottery taking. Snapshot, three, two, one. Now I declare the result. The name of the viewer is called Yiduo Xiao Honghua, with the comment, the ugly duck, the daughter of the ocean. And you have made two correct answers. And this is another one. Jin Se Huan Xiang is a broad answer. It's not very detailized. The mermaid is another answer. This one comes from my account, my public account. The ugly duck, the wind bell, the couple, and those are the names of the viewers. Those several ones are the winners. Another viewer is named Daro Baozi. Xiong. Yang Shi Xinwen Wang Yo. G Q H Z. You are another winner. Yang Shi Xinwen Wang Yo. T U K Y. He says, 100 years of Anderson. And I love reading Anderson since I was young. So thank you all for staying tuned with us. So all of the names I mentioned in the comment session are the winners. And next, we will have an email address. Please, within the next three days, send us your address, your phone number to us. And please tell me which bonus do you prefer, the book or the t-shirt. Then we will mail them to your doorstep. Thank you. And please pay attention to the next lottery. And now, let's try to appreciate the works of the children. In Danish Cultural Center, in the second floor, we have a lot of exhibitions about uh, the creative children's work. One child is waiting for me. What's your name? Hello? Madam Jupi, my name is Sun Yu Tong. This is your work, right? Yes. Could you tell us more? This is a violin. It's called a happy violin. How did you make this? It seems like a 3D. I want to make it very interesting. That's why I make it 3D. What about the string? Is it colored? 
do you draw the colors on? I think the violin plays very beautiful music, so it reminds me of a colorful world. So that's why I make the strings colorful, just like the colorful notes. What about this stick? It's the branches. Where are you studying? In Chenwen Primary School. What's your favorite hobby? Drawing. So now your drawing work is shown here. Are you happy? Yes. Who taught you to draw? Professor Zhang. Actually, Professor Zhang is with us today, so you must want to thank her. Okay, thank you for your time, and let's enjoy the other works. And I hope you will be a better painter in the future. Thank you, Auntie Dripping. Now please follow me to the other works. And this is another work called The City of the Skies. This is the cotton, and those are the paper from the boxes. Many children work together for this work. We have a lot of layers of design. Here in front of us, I see something like a puzzle. And in the puzzle, I see different pictures like animals, people, watermelon with seeds in. They were put together. If you segregate them and put them together again, they will look different. This is um, the paper house. They call it Happy City. The topic is the whole world is a big family. They use the log to draw different animals like the white horse, the birds. They love nature. Then we can have happier lives. For those several works, they are oil painting. If we keep moving, we will see some wax and paintings. They are plain. And now I am stunned. It's quite complex. It combines oil painting with some 3D decorations. How does it work? The author is called Liang Chu Yi. You must be Liang Chu Yi. Hello? Please introduce to us. Is this Nerja? Yes, this is Nerja, and that is Albin. So it's two people combined together, and the difference is shown by the two colors. And I like the decorations. It's quite Chinese. What hit you? I love the Nerja story. People believe that Nerja represents fire and passion because uh, he is willing to help others and passionate. And for Albin, he represents cold and he has turned from a black place to a brighter place. So this is a dancer. Is this the decoration materials for gifts? This is a skirt. The dancers will have to wrap their feet in order to stand on their toes. So those are the belts used to wrap up their feet. What about this one? Is it about environmental protection? It's a dancer, but as to the skirt, they are made of the plastic spoons, and they are black and white colors. What's your inspiration? When we put them together, it's like a piano. Wow, it's a piano? It's beyond my imagination. 
So that's the piano design. Please tell me something about this picture. The name of it is called Growth. We use the paper cups. So it's half of a paper cup. Please zoom in. And you stick the decorations onto the paper cups. Yes. I just see that the dancer is sitting on a swing. I heard that uh, you come up with the ideas all by yourself. How much time do you have to enjoy your hobby? Like this. I have a lot of time, a lot of leisure time. That's why you have so many good works. I hope in the future you can design better works. And I hope you can realize your dreams. Thank you, Liang Chu Yi. You're awesome. Now, could you please hand me back the mic? Now, we are in the second floor of the exhibition hall. And now I'm saying hello to the parents and the children. Do you enjoy the works? Are they awesome? Yes. When we end this live show, you could uh, come upstairs to take your children and appreciate the works. When I introduced about my visit to the Anderson Museum 1990, what about the changes of the museum? Now with the internet, we can connect with Denmark. Yesterday, we took a video. Now let's see what's the Anderson Museum turning out to be right now. Hello, my name is News. I am now in the birthplace of Anderson. I'm happy to be in the hometown of Anderson and say hello to the Chinese children now. I used to live and work in China, so I know that Anderson is quite influential over the Chinese people. I want to tell the Chinese children that in our museum, the Chinese version of Anderson is from Madame Juping's voice. So to meet with Madame Juping on the internet like this is really miraculous. Our museum has over 100 years of history. And now we are trying to create another museum. I have to tell you that the contents are secrets, but now I can show you something about its looks. At the end of September, you can visit the Denmark Cultural Center to one exhibition. And that exhibition is going to be about this new museum. Now I'm back with you, listening to the introduction about the new museum. You will know that by September in the Danish Culture Center, there will be another exhibition to exhibit the new looks of the museum in Odyssey. What will be it like? And how will this new museum exhibit Anderson to people in the world? Now, I'm going to have some interactions with the children on the site. I've prepared the story of the ugly duck. And I want to invite two children to read this famous story. Who wants to be the volunteer? A lot of volunteers. How about this boy? And a girl, please. I need to find someone taller because they need to read the characters. So for those kids still in their kindergartens, please don't be crossed. First of all, we will let the music come. Who wants to be the first? That's quite a gentleman, lady first. Once upon a time, there is a little duck. 
He was very ugly when he was born. The parents laughed him, and all the other animals laughed at him, calling him the ugly duck. The ugly duck is lonely and has no friends. Even the eagle frowns upon him because he's ugly. But the ugly duck didn't give up. The kind ugly duck used his kindness and wisdom to help the boy to carry the fireworks and find herbs for the wounded. He also saved the little rabbit. And also through the beauty contest, he can find his mother. By practicing singing, he could finally use his efforts to pass the test of the old tree. In those tests, he grew up. So in the end of the contest, the ugly little duck turns out to be a beautiful swan and sings the most beautiful song. All the animals applaud for the ugly duck, and the ugly little duck finally unites with his parents. Once upon a time, there was an ugly duck. His parents laughed him. All animals laughed at him, calling him ugly little duck. The little duck was lonely with no friends. Even the eagle who wants to eat him frowns upon him because he's too ugly. But the duck doesn't give up. The kind duck uses his kindness, sincerity, bravery, and wisdom to help the ants to carry fireworks, to help the wounded goose to find herbs, and fight against the wolf to save the rabbit. Also, to pass the beauty contest and find his mother, he makes a lot of efforts to practice singing. And finally, all the efforts are not in vain. He passes the test of the old tree, and he grows up in the tests. In the end of the contest, the ugly duck turns out to be an elegant swan and sings the most beautiful song. All the animals applaud for the ugly duck, and the ugly duck finally reunites with his parents. Warm applause. I forgot to introduce you. What's your name? Are you a foreigner? Uh, actually, both Chinese and uh, French. Interesting. What's your name? Sun Han Shu. It's an interaction. You have A and B cards. Louis represents A, and Sun Han Shu represents B. Which one do you prefer? Please raise your card. The girls like girls. So congratulations, Sun Han Chu. Let's give her a big hand. And also a gift, the book. Another gift for you. Please keep reading the fairy tales. It's about time of a lottery with our viewers. Sweetie books. T shirt with signature. Another book. Now I can review the correct answer. Ugly duck, the white swan, and the soldier. If your answers contain the three characters, then you are correct. Please zoom in. 
the winners for this round through CCTV, Wu Tong. Through my public account. Xiao Wang and Feng Lingdang, who are the fans of CCTV. This is another commentator. Interesting name. Another winner. Zuo Tui Yu Gong. Yo Yo Mama, thank you, and you're the winner. Congratulations. Mao Dou, Ke Er Su Jia De De Mao, the last winner named Ba Di. So congratulations. You are the lucky winners. Again, please show our email address. Please send us your address, your telephone, and we will keep them secret. Now we will have a ceremony. Let's invite Dockler to come back. And uh, Wang Yanling, the founder of the culture and creative uh, industry of 798, and also director Zhao Gang, please all come back to the stage. Our viewers say that it seemed to be a happy event. Mr. Wang, please say something to the children. 798 is the biggest art center. Last year, we received 9.55 million visitors, including 2 million foreigners. And now 798 pays high attention to the art projects about to the children. Why? Arts can cultivate the children to be inclusive and kind. Arts are also the bridge for the children to experience happiness. Another important reason is that arts are the key sources of our creative power. So, for your information, we learn a lot of knowledge, but with knowledge you might not be creative. For a lot of times, creation comes from your engagement with arts. So now, 798 puts premium on the children's projects. We support the Danish Children's Arts Festival. That's for a, the celebration of the 70th anniversary of the diplomacy between China and Denmark to create the biggest children's project. 798 made our contribution. I hope you can pay attention. And I have always been following the guide of Ju Ping. Anderson's fairy tales are wonderful, of course. So please take your time to experience arts and improve our aesthetics. In the future, we're going to lead happier lives. Thank you. Do you want to say something? No. So now the ceremony. Let's water the flower representing the friendship between China and Denmark. Please count down. Five, four, three, two, one. Dear children, I give my best wishes to you. 
Hope you march forward towards your targets, your dreams. Please fly boldly. Learn to set up your dreams. Learn to create and start from the small step to grow up to be a great man. Then the last performance, a song called The Dream Catchers. Sun Yufei and Yang Ling, welcome. The world is us. That's wonderful singing. Now please get together and let's look up at the sky. And in such joyful moments, let's end today's show about the Anderson's fairy tales in China. I hope the fairy tales will accompany your whole childhood. I hope they are inspiring and touching to you. Now please wave your hands and say goodbye. Thank you. Thank you, CCTV. And also, Weiqing Mama account. Thank you, viewers, for staying tuned with us. And you can scan the QR code to download Weiqing Mama the Jia account. There will be more short videos 